Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the Ingrove in Phoenix, Arizona. Today I'm doing the new arrival video for June 2nd, 2023. Decent amount of stuff to show you guys this week. A couple of pre-orders came in that were pretty solid. And actually a lot of good pre-orders were announced this week as well. Uh, I'll start there. They're doing two Pussifer titles. C is for... And uh, V is for Vagina. Both of those come out June the 30th. Uh, I haven't been in print in a lot of years. I remember when I first opened. I mean, eight or nine years... They were available and I don't think I've really seen them since that very beginning maybe that first year I was open that was something that you could get and have in the store so it's been a while since they've been around uh, the next three are all from the jazz dispensary top shelf series it seemed like when these first came out they were doing them direct to consumer on their website because uh, I remember getting Johnny Hammond's gears which wasn't available, but was on their website. But it seems like they're now releasing all of these, you know, in mass. And they're absolutely fantastic. If you got the David Axelrod or the Bernard Purdy, you know what I'm talking about? They're killer. It's like the funkier side of jazz, 70s, kind of in that range, that, that prime 70s jazz funk. One of my favorite things to listen to. They're doing Idris Muhammad's Black Rhythm Revolution, Leon Spencer's uh, Where I'm Coming Home, and Jack DeJeanette's Sorcery. All of those come out July 14th. It's unbelievable the high quality audiophile jazz reissues that we've got coming out now. It's just fantastic. Those are coming out, uh, again, the 14th, all analog cut by Kevin Gray. So tough to beat that. On a side note, I'm doing another jazz whatnot. About 100 items. If you click the link below, you can see what we've got listed so far. I probably am not going to have everything up until closer to the auction, but I got over half of them, maybe three quarters of them listed now. But that's going to be Sunday at 11 o'clock. Music Matters stuff, uh, modern jazz stuff, vintage jazz stuff. It's kind of a big consignment collection I've been working on for the last year now. About halfway done through, you know, through the collection, but yeah. We're still plugging away at it. Uh, I do not have uh, the gold member stuff to show you guys anymore because the gold member is discontinued. Uh, there will still be things put on for the existing gold members until the end of the month. But uh, yeah, you know, I sent an email out explaining it. Uh, it just didn't work out. There's a lot of reasons why, but. You got the email. You know the reasons why. Let me show you guys this week's new arrival, starting with this week's Tone Poet. Uh, uh, love when new Tone Poets come out. Fantastic. McCoy's Tyner's Time for Tyner. All analog, cut from the original master tape by Kevin Gray. I mean, yeah, Stout and Jacket. Are they still doing them at Stout? Do they mention that on here? So Stout was doing most of the tip on jock jackets for a long period of time. There's another company, I believe they might be in Mexico, actually, and they're doing really high-quality jackets, and it seems like a lot of the labels are starting to use that company. But uh, McCoy Tyner, time for Tyner. Just came in. Haven't had a chance to listen to it. We're talking like hours ago it just came in. And Donald Bird's slow drag. I love 1970s Donald Bird. Really, really good stuff. Okay. This is technically a new title, but it is not. So this is the 50th anniversary of Marvin Gaye's What's Going On. This is all analog. This is cut by Kevin Gray. This is on my top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. Disc one is all analog. Disc two is not, but that's bonus material. This is actually different than the one that came out early, er, earlier in the year. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but you could see it as a much wider spine. There's actually a third uh, fold here. So there's, it's technically a three-pocket gatefold. you got a standard gatefold with a standalone gatefold in the middle with all of uh, photographs and the bonus material inside of it. Uh, there's not a lot of explanation out there of why this was done, but I opened it up to make sure what it was because it shows as the 50th. But when I saw it, I'm like, this is not nearly the same. It's thicker. You could tell there's more on the inside. What is this? I cracked it open. It is the Kevin Gray cut, all analog, the one you want. But yeah, I threw this on the top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. 
Unfortunately, when they revamped the cover, they also revamped the price from $39 to 59 bucks. But there it is. This is the all analog cut by Kevin Gray from the Master Tape, the version you should own. What's going on, Marvin Gaye? De La Soul, stakes is high. The latest, they're reissuing the whole catalog. This is the latest from that reissue campaign. Oh, on a side note, I actually finally got restocked on the magenta of Three Feet High and Rising. These were heavily allocated when they came out. I now have the original magenta, yellow, and black, the three that were available to independent record stores. All three of those are in stock. This is the magenta. I think I showed the yellow last week. This is cool. The band Witch from Zambia, their, uh, I think their first or maybe their second album is included in the Vinyl Me Please Zamrock box set uh, that they end up reissuing. The first one goes for tons of money. They reissued it, brought the price of the first one down, but uh, really great box set from Vinyl Me Please. But uh, they reissued a Witch album inside of that box. Original Zambian pressings of Witch are astronomically expensive, always destroyed and impossible to find. So they included that in the box set, but out of nowhere, they actually, reissued, they actually created a new record. So this is the latest album from the band Witch. The name of this is We Intend to Cause Havoc. Everything I've heard by this band is fantastic. I'm looking forward to this. This is on yellow vinyl. This is Zambian Full Moon yellow vinyl. But yeah, check it out. New record from Witch in 2023. This next one, I'm going to show it to you guys, but unfortunately, this is an in-store only item per the label. This is the, what do they call this? This is the purple, violet, love potion. That's it. This is the love potion vinyl variant of Taylor Swift's Midnight's. You can come into the store. We have it here. But per the label, we're not actually allowed to sell this online or mail this anywhere. It was a website exclusive. I think it lasted for a day or two. And then what they had left, they sent to independent record stores. This is really awesome. There is actually, for me personally, this is one of those new arrival weeks where I'm going to take home a good chunk of stuff. Love Sun Ra. I like this box. I, the actual box itself. Not the content of the box, which I also like. But the box itself is kind of like a pizza box. So it's really like conducive to opening it up repetitively and the box not getting trashed because it's a matte finished. But what's in the box, this is three LPs of uh, Space is the Place recordings. Not the album that came out on Blue Thumb, Space is the Place, but the movie soundtrack, Space is the Place. So you actually get a completely unissued album. So let's see how they break it down. There's a completely unissued album in here. There's also 40 minutes of unissued music. They might include that album as part of that. It's a three LP set total, but you're also getting the album, excuse me, the soundtrack on Blu-ray, not, not the soundtrack, you're getting the entire movie on uh, Blu-ray and DVD. So you're getting a three LP set, you're getting the movie on Blu-ray and DVD, a large booklet with notes from multiple Afro Futurism scholars cocooned inside an outer space employment agency tote bag. So my wife, who actually hates jazz, I we watched part of this film. It's on YouTube. With uh, there's a clip of the outer space employment agency part of the movie, and by the end of it, she was actually like listening to Sun Ra. It was actually a mind blowing experience for me because I can't think of anything. She doesn't like avant-garde jazz. So for her to watch that, but then actually start listening to it, it was crazy. But yeah, cool box set. I'm going to take that home. You're getting a brand new Sun Ra record in 2023. New Witch in 2023, new Sun Ra. It's crazy. Bob Dylan. This is uh, the soundtrack to the concert film. It's essentially 14 newly re-recorded songs. I don't know how I feel about this. I want to listen to it. But uh, he's doing, I think my favorite, my favorite Dylan song is, uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, It's All Over Now, Baby Blue. 
what was that on highway 61 i'm bringing it all back home one of the two my favorite dylan track uh i've heard him perform this live in the last 10 years and in typical dylan fashion it's unrecognizable so i don't know what this re-recording is going to sound like but if you are a dylan fan you are probably going to want this i'm a dylan fan i'm at least going to listen to it so we'll give it a go uh unbelievable song though really really good funkadelic free your mind this is the 50th anniversary edition on blue vinyl on westbound records this is the european version not the american domestic versions uh, from four men on beards, which are considered less than desirable. Funkadelic, self-titled, 50th anniversary on orange vinyl. This is the EU version as well. New album from The Hollywood Vampires. First live album by The Hollywood Vampires. Let's see. Special Nights to Remember on limited edition numbered heavyweight 2LP vinyl. So this is a double LP. You also have, uh, actually the numbering is on the back. This is 7,750 out of 10,000. Alice Cooper, Johnny Depp, Joe Perry, Tommy Henriksen. This is on Ear Music. Live in Rio. Saw them for uh, Alice Cooper's Christmas pudding they actually played. Uh, not personally my thing, but uh, you know. 50th anniversary of Tom Wait closing time. This is 45 RPM, half speed mastered at Abbey Road. But it's a double, there's two versions of this. I got an indie version and a black vinyl. Uh, both of them are 45 RPM, half speed mastered. This is on clear vinyl. The other one is a standard black vinyl version. Got a restock of Fleetwood Mac Rumors. This is the shootout winner for me, the top 100 imprint analog records you should own list. Also, it's on, you know, it's on that list. It's the shootout winner. This is the definitive version of Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. There was a point in time where this thing was out of print and it was almost 400 bucks. I know it's a record that a lot of people are like, you know, I don't know if I ever need to hear Rumors again, but I'll tell you what, if you listen to it on this pressing, you're gonna be blown away. Every time I put this on, even though I heard these songs a thousand times, it's like, holy, those are good, man. It sounds fantastic, really, really well recorded and uh, really well presented. That, that's all Analog Cut by Kevin Gray. Restock of Michael Jackson's Bad, and a restock of another record that's on my top 100 imprint Analog Records you should own list, uh, Neil Young's Harvest. Reasonably priced, a $25 all Analog record. El Gua? This is the self-titled El Gua. Alegua? Maybe Alegua. We've got Forbidden Isle of Forbidden Isle of Demos, Combustible Edison. This is on Modern Harmonic. What is this? So this is like a Exotica album. Exotica album from the 90s, it looks like. I'll have to read up on that a little bit more. We've got Blackwood Apology. This is another Sunday's release. Uh, let's see, combining so Sunshine Pop and Acid Arena. I've never heard of a uh, Acid Arrange Sunshine Pop record, but uh, yeah, the Blackwood Apology. We've got the Circling Sun Spirits. This is on Soundway. Roger Waters, The Lockdown Sessions. This is actually something that was released as a uh, streaming only uh, title, maybe end of last year. Essentially re-recordings of songs that were recorded during lockdown. Kind of some more stripped down versions. When I saw him live last year, uh, he actually starts the show with the Comfortably Numb from this particular uh, album. So what is it? We got Comfortably Numb, The Bravery of Being Out of Range. Uh, yeah, the Gunner's Dream. So some stuff off of, uh, what is that, Amuse the Death? And is that Amuse the Death? Two Sons in the Sunset? Is that Radio Chaos and Amuse the Death, I believe? I will definitely take that home. Big Pink Floyd fan. 
Blink 182. This is a limited edition pressing of Buddha on blue and red splatter of vinyl on Kung Fu Records. New album by the Foo Fighters. There's two versions of this. Let's see if I got the other one stuffed in here somewhere. I felt like there was two. This is black vinyl. We also have it on white vinyl. Indie store exclusive. But here we are. You can barely see. They have a hype sticker on there that it's actually a white record with white lettering on the hype sticker. So it's probably not really visible on camera. Hey, look at this. I know it's a restock, but we're going to show you a Neil Young record and a King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard record all in the same video. This is King Gizzard and the Wizard Lizard demos of volume three and four, Dead Pond Scum Edition, 180 gram, 2 LP on Swamp Green and Blood Red Vinyl. This is on Needle Juice Records. Let's see. Jordan Davis, Bluebird Days. The Revolutionists Pour It Out Into the Night featuring Kid, the new album. This is limited edition on Sun Marble Vinyl. Jack Johnson, In Between Dub. We've got Ghost Prequel. This is uh, Indie Store exclusive on Tangerine Vinyl. We've got Morgan Whalen, One Thing at a Time. This is, God, there's 36 tracks on this. Kind of looks like a triple, but actually might be, uh, looks like a triple disc. The Return of the Living Dead. This is the classic punk rock zombie soundtrack, limited clear with blood red splatter of vinyl. This is on Real Gone Music. The Art Ensemble of Chicago. I'm not even going to try that. The Art Ensemble of Chicago. Uh, I, a great record. Uh, a lot of their stuff is actually quite good. Uh, some of it is a little bit too out there for me, which I like out there stuff, but some of it is a little bit even more out there. Marilyn Monroe's Greatest Hits. My Heart Belongs to Daddy, Girls, Diamonds Are a Girl's Best Friend. Oh, happy birthday, Mr. President. That's a winner. All right, XTC Go 2. This is an import double LP. Two disc gatefold reissue of the 1975 album, complete with the five track, 12 inch. Uh, so this is how it originally came out. I think the UK to where you got the album and you got the 12 inch. And I think shortly after that they ditched it and you just got the album. Beth Hart, music on vinyl. Screaming for my supper. This is limited to 1500 copies on uh, yellow and orange marbled vinyl. This is a low number, this is 115. Bjork, Fasora. We've got what the Kalen Furfur, two for two. All right, we got Kalen Furfur, two for two. I think. Oh, this is Kalen Furfur, two two two. All right, Nicki Minaj. This is Pink Friday Reload. I think there's a re Pink Friday remix album. We've got Nana, How to Start a Garden, featuring Godzilla and Crybaby. This is the exclusive Milky Clear vinyl variant. 
And then this is the straight black vinyl version. Life is like a song, Kenny Rogers. New album, 10 songs from Kenny's archives. I was thinking, I was thinking boy. New album by uh, Sun Ra, new album by Kenny. These guys are prolific after death. Okay, this is Opeth. This is Orchard, this is gold. I think the vinyl color is gold. We've got the same album on transparent red. And we've got the same album on black vinyl. So you got black, transparent red, and gold. All right, guys, that is it for this week's new arrivals. Check us out Sunday, whatnot, 11 a.m. and online at theingroup.com. Until next time.